Anthropic is introducing Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4. So Claude Opus 4 is the world's best coding model with sustained performance on complex long-running tasks and agent workflows. Claude Sonnet 4 is a significant upgrade to Claude Sonnet 3.7, surpassing its predecessor across coding and reasoning while responding more precisely to instructions. So if you look at the focus over here, it is on coding. So they want to develop you know, coding agents and they want to make their model the best in coding for maybe, you know, replacing software engineers in the future or maybe augmenting software engineers in the future. They are announcing extended thinking with tool use. It's in beta mode. So both models can use tools like web search during extended thinking, allowing Claude to alternate between reasoning and tool use to improve responses. Both models can use tools in parallel, follow instructions more precisely and when given access to local files by developers, they demonstrate significantly improved memory capabilities, extracting and saving key facts to maintain continuity and build knowledge over time. Cloud code is now generally available. So Cloud code now supports background tasks via GitHub Actions and native integrations with VS Code and JetBrains, displaying edits directly in your files. They are also releasing new API capability uh, that enable developers to build more powerful AI agents. That is the code execution tool, MCP connector, files API, and the ability to cache prompts for up to one hour. So these are introduced via API capabilities. Cloud Opus and Sonnet 4 are hybrid models. So you have near instant responses and you have extended thinking for deeper reasoning. Now let's look into some of the benchmarks over here. So if you look at Cloud Opus 4 on the SWE benchmark, it has 79.4 percentage performance or accuracy with parallel test time compute and Sonnet 4 has 80.2 percent with parallel test time compute. So on this benchmark it looks like Sonnet 4 performs better than Opus 4. Right? Sonnet 4 is the smaller model, Opus 4 is the largest model. Even then, you know, if you look at this particular benchmark, Sonnet 4 performs better than, you know, Opus 4 by maybe 0.5 points, but still you know, you are getting really good performance on this SWE bench with Sonnet 4 when compared to all the other models which are available. Okay. And then if you look at other benchmarks, if you look at this agentic terminal coding benchmarks, Gemini 2.5 Pro, if you compare the performance of that with Sonnet 4 or Opus 4, you see a huge improvement over here. Something like a 50% uh, improvement, a 41.3% improvement. Okay. So this is huge development over here, right? Uh, so this is the agentic terminal coding benchmark, right? So, but if you look at some other benchmarks, which are general benchmarks over here, like this graduate level reasoning, you see Gemini 2.5 Pro performs better than Claude models, okay? So even on uh, visual reasoning, you know, high school math competition. So I think the focus of Opus 4 and Sonnet 4 is specifically on software development, on coding. So you can go and try out Claude Sonnet 4 on Claude.ai. Okay. So I just wanted to create a road rash like game which should run on Chrome browser. The game should play, uh, should show player score. So uh, when I had previewed this version over here, initial version, I wanted some changes. Okay. Saying that the vehicle is not centered or something. So I ran it again and it gave me this code. Now when I see this code over here, it's not visualized properly. Right. But when I copied the code independently, uh, copied the code and, you know, I uh, loaded this game from the local file, it is actually working quite well over here, right? If you see over here, uh, this has been one of the best uh, road rash which I have seen, which I created with a zero shot prompt in my experience. So when I had previously tried the same prompt with Gemini 2.5 Pro and other models, I find this particular uh, you know, code which has been generated to be quite good in terms of responsiveness, in terms of what I wanted over here in this particular uh, game, right? Uh, it kind of moves very well. Uh, it is done very well, actually. And this is zero shot prompt. Okay. So you can go and test out Sonnet 4 over here. If you want Opus, then you need to have a pro subscription over here. Now, if you look at the cost of this particular model, uh, the cost is quite same as previous models. That's what they're saying. So pricing remains consistent with the previous Opus and Sonnet models. Opus 4 is available at $1.15 per million input tokens and $1.75 per million output tokens. Sonnet 4 is at $1.03 per 1 million input tokens and 
you know output is dollars 15 per million tokens now sonnet and um, sonnet for and opus for also are available on the anthropic api amazon bedrock and google's clouds vertex ai so this is also nice So the focus over here is on agentic uh, capabilities for coding. Um, so I think Anthropic is pivoting towards developing the best coding models uh, rather than, you know, uh, models which are good at general tasks. I think the focus this time over here has been on coding tasks and agent workflows for coding. So you can check out more details of Cloud4 over here. You can go and try out Cloud4 on uh, Cloud4 Sonnet on Cloud.ai. This is a short video on Cloud4. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.